Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with a new layout for Hip Kit Club, and I am going to be using the October 2016 kits for my layout today. My theme for this week is No White, which you think wouldn't be too much of a challenge given that the last two out of the four layouts that I've made for Hip Kit have not had any white on them, but I was kind of like a kid when it came to this layout, and because I was told I couldn't use it, that's all I wanted to use. I really kind of struggled a bit in the beginning trying to figure out a design and what papers I wanted to use. But once I figured out what I was going to do and how the design was going to look, I was totally fine. It was just a little bit of a hang up in the beginning just trying to figure out how to put it all together. I did edit out a large majority of my, I guess, shall we say, struggle with this layout. I had a fairly good idea of what I was going to do before I hit the record button. And I really do enjoy a paper crafting challenge. So I think it just helps kick in the creativity a little bit more when you are challenged. So I really liked the prompts and the themes that we have for Hip Kit. I think that they're a lot of fun and I am so happy with how this ends up turning out. So what I have going on here is I've grabbed a few of the pattern papers from the main kit. That wood grain paper is from the Maggie Holmes Gather collection. Those two strips of paper that already have the stitching on them, those are actually from the Simple Stories Posh collection. It's that abstract looking pattern paper. And I had started to use it for a different project and didn't like how it was looking. So I saved it and it ends up working great on this project. And then for my main pattern paper that I'm going to use, it's that pattern paper from the Pink Paisley Take Me Away collection. For my photo layers, I am using another pattern paper that's included in the main kit. It is from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home collection, and I just cut it apart and just using it as layering pieces behind the photo. Now I really, really wanted to use white cardstock to back my photo to create a white border, but I refrained from doing so since my theme is no white this week. So I'm just going through this cut apart sheet, just trying to find different layers to put back behind the photo. I do decide that I am going to back the photo with a layer of vellum from my stash. And then I'm also going to add a pink border from one of the cardstocks that is in the cardstock kit. Now initially I thought I was gonna let that vellum kind of hang down from the photo. I thought it might be a good place to put my title, but I quickly decide that isn't how I want it to be. So I'm just gonna trim it to make it all even in just a moment. This photo was actually taken this past weekend. My husband and I celebrated our 11 year wedding anniversary and I snapped this photo before we pulled out of the driveway. We went to dinner and a movie to celebrate and he's always a great sport about letting me take photos to celebrate and document these occasions. So I'm still working on getting the photo cluster arranged the way that I like. I'm going to trim down this pink cardstock a little bit more. And then in just a moment, I'm going to bring in my scissors and just trim off the remaining part of that vellum that's hanging down from the photo. One thing that you'll notice that I continuously do as I am creating my photo mat is I take a lot of the ephemera pieces and the three by four cards and I trim them in half to make them look like they're a little bit longer than they actually are. For instance, this pink three by four card, I trim it in half. So that way I can have some pink at the top and the bottom of the photo mat. It wasn't long enough to tuck the whole thing back behind the mat and still be able to see the color at top and bottom. But by trimming it in half, it looks like it's one long continuous piece of pattern paper. So I have the basis of my photo mat complete. Now I'm going to start bringing in some embellishments. These are the chipboard pieces from the Simple Stories Posh collection that is included in the embellishment kit this month. And I'm just going to playing around and seeing what will fit, what will work. I thought that I was going to use those balloons. We were celebrating, and when I think of balloons, I think of celebrating, but it's more of a birthday type occasion, so I end up deciding against those. I thought about, about maybe bringing in some of those houses from that pink paisley pattern paper, but I decide against that also. So while I'm kind of thinking about it and trying to figure out what I want to do, I'm going to start adhering down my photo mat just so that way it moves as one unit and I don't have pieces kind of sliding and shifting all over. I do bring in a sticker from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home collection. It's actually a ruler, but I really liked the pop of teal. So I'm just tucking it, same thing. I cut it in half and I'm tucking it on top of the photo and on bottom of the photo for some symmetry and to keep the photo cluster even. So now that I have all of those pieces adhered together, I'm gonna go back to embellishing. I do bring in some of those chipboard pieces from the Simple Stories Posh Collection, just trying to see if I can get anything to fit. I am gonna bring in another sticker from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home sticker sheet that is included in the Project Life Kit. This sticker says Love and Laughter, and I'm just gonna tuck it at the bottom of my photo cluster, and I will add a second sticker right behind it. 
So at this point, I'm really starting to think about my title. I need to figure out where I'm going to put it, what it's going to say, because depending on the placement of the title, it could affect where I put the different embellishment pieces. So I bring in a couple different alphabet sets. This first one is a gold thicker that's included in the embellishment kit. I'm fairly certain that I want the title to be Celebrate, but then I remember the pink paisley thickers from the Take Me Away collection, and I go with the You and Me, but I decide against that also. And then I'm going to bring in the Coral Puffy alphabet stickers that are included in the main kit. They are exclusive to Hip Kit, but I decide against those also. They were a little bit small for where I was thinking to put the title. So in just a moment, I shut the camera off and I do some playing off camera and I figure out where I want to put the title placement. I do go ahead and add some stitching through that pink paisley pattern paper and I add my journaling with my We Are Memory Keepers Typecast typewriter and now I'm going to start adhering everything down. So these are the stickers from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home collection. I do add that floral piece from the same collection that is from the ephemera pack that is included in the embellishment kit. I am going to tuck one of the wood grain frames that's from the ephemera pack also on the right and left side of the photo mat. I do add a cut apart piece from the We Are Memory Keepers Honey I'm Home pattern paper along with one of the Project Life cards at the top of the photo mat. As I mentioned, I played around off camera figuring out where I wanted to place the title and it just so happened that the word celebrate fit right along that teal pattern paper piece and I really like the angle. I feel like it gives a little bit more visual interest to the layout and I really like the pop of gold. Now I'm just fine tuning the position of the embellishments before I adhere everything down. I did add an ephemera piece from the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection that's included in the main kit. It's that cute little camera that I will tuck in on the right side of the photo mat. So a few weeks ago when I posted my chit chat video, I mentioned that I tend to not journal a lot on my layouts unless there is a story to be told about the photo. And lately I have been scrapbooking a lot of photos that do have stories. And this photo is no exception. I do journal about how much I appreciate Andy and how much I value our marriage. Now, if you look super close at the close-up photos at the end of the video, you will notice there are a few typos on the journaling. A few of the keys on my We Are Memory Keepers Typecast typewriter are not labeled correctly, and it's just the punctuation keys, so it's not a huge deal, but occasionally I'll hit the wrong key thinking it's something else, and it will create a typo. So now I'm getting really close to finishing the layout. Everything is pretty much adhered down. I am going to go back in with some odds and ends just to add a little extra detail here and there. These are some chipboard hearts from the Simple Stories Posh collection, and I'm gonna add a few of those around the layout. I will bring in some enamel dots also and just kind of scatter those around. Once those enamel dots are down, the layout is done. I am going to leave you with some still shots here in just a moment. I'm hoping to be back later this week with another chit chat video. I'm hoping to record it on Wednesday. So hopefully it'll be up Wednesday or Thursday. I am going to be talking about all things December daily. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the products or the kits. I would love to answer them. And as always, thank you so much for watching.